In this part, we are going to cover tkinter variables. And this is what you probably want to use most of the time to make widgets interact with each other. tkinter has a bunch of inbuilt variables, and those are designed to work really well with widgets. What that means is that these can be automatically updated by a widget, and they can also update the contents of a widget. But fundamentally, we are still talking about basic data structures like a string, integers, or booleans. For this part, I am primarily focusing on a string just to keep things simple. But, well, so far this probably doesn't make too much sense. So let me give an example. Let's say we have a label and an entry, and both of those should always have the same text. Whatever I'm writing inside of the entry is also going to be the text of my label. Coincidentally, that is actually what we are going to make. Let me show you actually. The project we are going to build is going to look something like this. In here, whatever I write in the entry is going to be the text of the label. So those two widgets are very closely connected. And this we couldn't do so far, but we can do it quite easily using a tkinter variable. Basically how it works is we are creating a string variable. So a tkinter variable that stores a string. And this variable automatically gets the value of the entry and it automatically sets the value of the label. That way, both of those are always going to be connected. It's not part of the slide, but a string var also sets the value of the entry. So if you had two entry widgets, they could also be connected using a string variable. I think all of this is going to be much easier to understand when we actually implement it. So let's have a look at this in code and let's see how far we get. Here is a nearly empty Python file. I have imported tkinter and ttk. With that covered, I want to create a window and I want to run the window. This we have seen a couple of times by now. I want to create a window variable and in here tk and tk. I guess while we're here, I also want to set the title of this thing to tkinter variables. Once we have that, I want to run the main loop and if I execute all of this, we can see a basic window. It doesn't do very much right now, but it's a start. So with that, I for now want to create two different widgets. I want to create a label and I want to create an entry widget. And once again, if you want to practice, create and pack them on the window yourself. But in my case, both of those are going to be TTK. One is going to be a label the other is going to be an entry. Although besides that, both need the same master, which is going to be the window. The label, however, needs some kind of start text. Let me call it label for now. It doesn't really matter. We are going to change it very soon anyway. And once we have that, I want to pack the label and I want to pack the entry. And let me add a tiny bit of white space, run the entire thing. And there we can see we have a label and an entry field although they are not connected right now. And for that, we need a tkinter variable. This I want to create in a separate section. In here, I want to have a tkinter variable. This you create with tk, and then you need the name of the variable you want to create. The one I want to create is going to be a string variable. And this you have to call, it's a separate object. This object I want to store inside of a separate variable. I'm going to call this one a string var. And besides a string var, you also have an int var, you have a double var, and you have a boolean var. Depending on what value you need. But string var is what I'm going to use for this video. For the next part, when we talk about the buttons, I'm going to use other kinds of variables as well. How this is going to work is that this string var is going to contain some kind of string. And when we pass this into the label, it is going to overwrite whatever the text is. So for example, if inside of this string var we have hello, then this hello would overwrite the text. On top of that, we can also connect the string var to the entry. And this would mean that the entry widget overwrites this string var, which means this widget and this widget have to be connected to this string var. And for that, we have another named argument. It is called text variable. 
both a label and an entry have the same one. So in here, I want to pass in the string var. And that is actually all we need. If I run the code now, you can already see one change. Let me expand the window a tiny bit. We used to have a label here and it disappeared. The reason why it disappeared is because the string var doesn't have any value right now. So the label does exist, but it's empty. So we can't see it. However, if I start typing in here, you can see the label text again. And the reason why this is working is that both the entry and the label share the same data. And this is a very powerful system. What you can also do is let me create another entry. I can just copy this one and call this entry2 and entry2. And if I run the code now again, we have two entry fields. If I type in the first one, the second one is also updated. And if I update the second one, the first one is also being updated. The reason for that is that these three widgets all share the same string or string variable. And that way, whatever is in one is going to be in the other as well. And that is a really powerful way to connect different widgets. It's super, super useful. What you can also do is set a start value for this string var. This you do by adding one argument that is called value. In here, you can set basically whatever you want. For example, in my case, I want to go with start value. Now, if I run this again, we have start value as the start value for all of the fields and for the label. Although I can still change them to whatever I want. In this case, though, I don't want to use the start value, but this is something you could do. On top of that, what you can also do, if I get rid of entry widget 2 and instead create another button, this is going to be TTK button with master being the window. And for the text, let's go with button. This button I have to pack. And if I run the entire thing now, we can see we have a button that doesn't really do anything right now. For that, I want to create another function. Let's call it button function again. We don't need any parameters. And in here, I want to print the content of this string variable. And this we can do quite easily because the string variable has a get method, which means all I have to do is add the command named argument for my button and pass in the button function. And now I can run the entire thing again. And let me type in test in here. The label still updates. And if I press on a button, we also get test. We can also write something else. And if I press the button again, we get write something else. Finally, there's one more thing that I do want to cover. And that is you can also set the value of any of these variables. Let's say after I press a button, I want to set the value of this string var to button pressed. This I do with string var and set. And in here, I just want to add the value I want to set it to button pressed in my case. If I now run this thing and let me write just test, test, test. And if I click on the button, we get button pressed. And you can also see this is updated in the entry and in the label as well, because these two share the same data. And with that, we have tkinter variable. Although I think it might take you a couple of minutes to get your head around it. But once you understand it, it's super useful and really powerful to connect different widgets. And ultimately, a much better system than using get. Basically, any widget in tkinter either has a text variable or just a variable. We're going to see quite a few more in the next section. But before we get to that, I want to do some exercises. Specifically, I want you guys to do this. I want you guys to create two entry fields and one label. They should all be connected via a string variable. Also, set a start value of test. And well, that should be all you need. And pause the video now and try to implement all of this. Let's get started by creating another TK string var. This I want to assign to the variable. Let me call it exercise var. And in here, we already want to set a start value. Now this you could do in two different ways. You could either get the exercise var and set it to the string test, or 
you could set a start value. So in here, the value is going to be test. Both of those are going to get you the same result. So let me stick with this one. It's a bit more concise. Once we have that, I want to create two entry fields and one label. And this should be one label. So let's say entry one and entry two. Since they are both going to be identical, I can just do this by copying the text. I want to have ttk.entry, the master is going to be the window, and the text variable is going to be the exercise var. And then I also want to pack both of them, although this should be one and this should be two. Finally, I want to create a label, and let me call this the exercise label, and I am very bad at spelling exercise. But for this one, we need TTK and label. Master is going to be window. I'm going to say that a lot. We don't actually need a text here. All I really care about is a text variable. And this is going to be the exercise var. Finally, I want to pack this label. And with that, we should actually be good to go. If I run the code now, you can already see we have two entry widgets and a text or a label widget. And all of them have test. If I change the test in either of the entry widgets, we get something else. Once again, this is working because they all share the data, which means if you update one, you update all of them. And with that, we have string variables, a super powerful concept. In the next part, we will talk about buttons. And in there, this system is going to become even more powerful. So I'll see you there.